Well, it looks to me some little idiots are trying to get me on their biggest card of the year. And honestly, I don't blame them. I don't blame them, but it's getting annoying. It always does. And uh, I think I remember what happened last year on this certain card that I left because of it. It was that dumb. It was that stupid. And honestly, it wasn't worth my time, but yet I gave them a chance. And it wasn't the right thing to do. Now, fast forward a year later, and apparently HCW has their biggest card of the year again. And guess who they ask to face AJ Matthews? Again. Like the first time wasn't stupid enough. That didn't even happen. An extremist had a 15 on 1 or whatever the fuck it was attack on me. Including a battle royal. Where it was a clusterfuck to begin with as all battle royals are. But still. Plus the past few months people have been pestering me about. Let me actually get a list here for a minute. For owning companies, managing companies, wanting to be the boss of companies, or I should say wanting me to be the boss of companies, wanting me to train them, wanting me to be on pay-per-views, title shots, I mean, any Hall of Fame, which I'm surprised they would even try to induct little old me, even though I've done absolute shit to get in. And whatever else. I mean, you think of it, what they've done, you name it, they've done it. And the answer is still the same, and the same answer is going to be the one I give you right now, Matthews. The answer is no, and we will remain no until you grow up. Until a lot of you grow up. Honestly, why are you even pestering me? It has been a fucking year. A fucking year since I've been gone. And now all of a sudden, since it's WrestleMania season, you pick up the phone, you call me, you make me try to relive glory days one last time. It's not going to happen. It never will happen. Besides, you people are as two-faced as Manti Tail's girlfriend. Then again, most people can't see her anyway, yet I am one of the few to be able to understand what she looks like. We saw her in the Super Bowl. You know, she wasn't that hard to figure out. Then again, that could have been some bitch from Jersey anyway. So, either way, either way, it doesn't really matter. What really matters here is, for the past year, People have been wanting me to do all kinds of shit. Jump through all kinds of hoops. Even manage them, which honestly I think would be an honor for because of some of the people that did ask me. But, at the end of the day, it's not needed. Because once again, I would be the butt of your joke. And it's not going to happen again. As a matter of fact, AJ Matthews, you ain't your match so bad? If any of you idiots want your match so bad, click the bottom of this thing. Or here, or whatever the, wherever the fuck it is nowadays. I don't really know. I don't keep up with that, and I don't care. But, if it's down there, then you can click down there. If it's over here, here, or there. Doesn't matter. What matters is, you want your match, Matthews. If any of you idiots want to relive the glory days and be shut up by greatness, then come to the new generation of this sport. The new generation of professional wrestling. That is Wrestler Anonymous. Hell, you don't even have to sign up for all I care. You can put your little emails down. You can type in your little keyboard or how much of a faggot you are. And you can get in the ring. And be put in your place like you should have been years ago. Because to be honest, it does not matter to me if you put me in a Hall of Fame, if you put me in a title match, 
if you do anything because no title, no federation, no Hall of Fame would ever take away the person that I love, the person that I care about, and I am not that stupid. Because as soon as I do, she would leave me, and she would leave me a broken man. A man that has had a couple kids, a beautiful wife, a beautiful family, anything money can buy, even though most of it is priceless anyway. At the end of the day, guys, I'm going to have to pass this one up. Because it's not worth my time. Besides, what are you going to do when I say no? Are you going to keep pestering me? Are you going to keep doing shit? The answer will remain the same no matter how many times you do it. Especially for idiots that try to pretend to be Crispin Waugh. You make me sick. I don't want to say anymore. I really don't. Why would they try to be me? I mean, really? Why the fuck would they try to be in the ring of greatness? I don't understand it. You know, I don't understand it.